And they'll take their swings off of Keegan Aiken, 26-year-old left-hander out of Alma, Michigan. It's that hard on the ground, but right into the glove of Gutierrez, who goes the long way and gets the force out at first. And they will get a look at Thomas Hatch making his third career start. And there's a better slider. Randall Gritchick's out there in center field. An easy play for Randall. Easy inning for Thomas Hatch. And he's retired five straight after the leadoff walk. Bounces this one to the left side. There he is again. What a play. Kiss spinning, throwing, and getting Gutierrez. Kelvin Gutierrez has put on a glove show here, folks, in the last two games. So a couple on and two down, and that'll get the number nine hitter, Austin Wins, to the plate. Ground ball, Bo backhand, throws on the run, right on the money. So the Orioles will get a couple of base runners. They strand a pair. They've left three so far. No score, start of the third inning. 2-2 to Gritchick. Swung on and missed. Got him. That's seven straight outs for Keegan Aiken. Chopper, third base side. Gutierrez has it. Valera down, out number two. 2-2 two -two on the way. And he got him. No appeal needed. Two strikeouts in the inning. He gets him one, two, three. Well, Keegan Aiken, folks, is sharp right now. He just dots an eye on the outside part of the plate. Picks up his third strikeout of the game. Orioles. Trying to get on the board here. Keegan Aiken off to a good start. He's retired nine straight, and Orioles send the top of the order to face Thomas Hatch in the third. Hammered high and deep. There it goes. Way back on the flag court, Cedric Mullins closing in on 30 30. Just hit home run number 29 to go with his 28 stolen bases. What a pleasure to watch. Wow. No balls, two strikes. And Cedric Mullins always seems like he is ready to hit. Well, Keegan Aiken is mixing well. Austin Wynn seems to be putting down all the right fingers. Well, Keegan Aiken not intimidated. It's a pop-up that Jones should handle. He does. And Keegan Aiken is set down 12 straight. Orioles lead 1-0. Baltimore bats in the bottom of the fourth inning with the bottom third of the order. How about three change-ups in a row for strike three? Boy, he floated that one in there perfectly. Third strikeout for Hatch. And an excuse me, swing on a high pitch. Check swing, fly ball to center. Austin wins, goes after the first pitch, and hits a high pop up to shallow left field. Thomas Hatch retires the side in order. Three up, three down. Well, Keegan Aikens just dialed in. High fly ball, medium right field. DJ Stewart loves that. 2 2, popped up in play. Trey Mancini waits and grabs it for out number two. Lefty from Alma, Michigan. Keegan Aiken, line drive at Stewart. He's got it. And it's another 1 2 3 inning. He set down. 15 in a row. Buck, I've just been told by manager Charlie Montoyo that Thomas Hatch has left the ball game with a hamstring issue. So that is the word from the skipper. A hamstring issue for Thomas Hatch. All right, there's a slow curveball, just 68 miles an hour. And Soria strikes out Mancini, so he retires the first two here in the fifth. Popped up, Santander. It's the high pop up. Both goes out into the outfield and makes the catch. Good inning by Soria. Three up, three down. And it's a leadoff walk. Richick on board, just the second base runner for the Blue Jays. There's the bunt. Back to Aiken. He'll go to first. Whoa. Oh, safe is the call. Right away, Trey Mancini points into the dugout and says, take a look at that one. Watch Mateo. At the last second, getting his foot on oh, the yeah, bag. He got oh, yeah. Yeah, they won't take long to look at this one and reverse it. So, as we expected, there's one down. Popped up right side. Mancini coming over and has room and makes the grab. Got him. Popped him up. Let's see. Who wants this one? 
Mateo calls, makes the catch, and the Orioles are out of the inning. And the Orioles right now by themselves, three outs away from a 1-0 victory. As Brady Guerrero goes after the first pitch, and there's the first hit for the Blue Jays. A first pitch single, naturally. And here's Bo Bichette. Swing and a drive. Get out of here, Bo. Get up and gone. They did better than tie it. Bo Bichette with a two-run home run has given the Blue Jays the lead. Perfect timing for the second game in a row. A home run by the Blue Jays in the last inning has put them up. And the top of the lineup gets them again. There's a sharp single past the shortstop for Teoscar. Now the Orioles are going to turn to Tanner Scott, who's going to face Alejandro Kirk. Kirk hits this one high and deep and off the scoreboard. I think that's a home run. I think it hit to the side of the scoreboard, and it's going to be a two-run home run for Alejandro Kirk. Eighth home run well, of the season you, for Kirk. That's how you wait back on a breaking ball. Runners on the corners and still nobody out. There's a drive into the outfield. Mullins is going to make the catch. But tagging at third is Dyson, and he'll jog home. Another RBI for Valera and a big run for the Blue Jays. It's now 5-1. Ninth hitter of this seventh is Marcus Simeon. Maybe his last chance to extend the hit streak. There's a fly ball to left field. Deep, deep. Get up, get out of here and go! Marcus Simeon, home run number 39, a three-run home run, and he has set a new career high in RBIs with 94. Runners on at first and second, still one out. There's a long drive, and you can forget about this one. Deep into the Blue Jays' bullpen, another three-run home run for Teoscar. That'll be his 26th of the season. Four home runs in the inning. What an inning for the Blue Jays. And he's creeping closer and closer to 100 RBIs for himself. Yeah, you can't believe it. Neither can we, Lourdes. This is unbelievable what they are doing. And the new pitcher is Anthony Castro, who hasn't pitched with the Blue Jays since the 9th of July. That was a slider hit right to the third baseman. Valera throws across the diamond, one down. Brabeck Valera, Alejandro Kirk, and Santiago Espinal. And Wins takes a called strike. 2 1 pitch. Bichette gobbles that up. Throws it away, and the game's still alive. Martin comes around to score. It's 11 to 2, and Mullins safe at first. Bo gets another chance and he throws it this time on the money and that's the ball game. Boy, what a day for the Blue Jays. They sweep the doubleheader the second time they've had a doubleheader sweep this season. This is their eighth doubleheader. Bo Bichette with the go-ahead home run in that dramatic 11-run seventh inning.